It amazes me when people who see these vehicles for the first time and they see what they're capable of, like the shock and awe. It's mind blowing to me when you see people doing it for the first time, when they have the confidence then to know that their car is actually capable of doing this stuff. Some of the toughest terrain to conquer is when you get into a lot of articulation and mixed traction. You've got an articulation event, the car suspension is trying to move and keep tires in contact with the ground. One tire has great traction on the rock, another tire is just fighting for traction in the sand. Put it in full four lock, right in your terrain select as well as in rock mode. That way you have the maximum torque capability of the vehicle being sent to all of the wheels. The system itself will adapt, so as you drive over that event, it will monitor the state of the vehicle and make sure you have torque at every wheel that you need to successfully climb over that rock smoothly. Even if one wheel hits the air, you'll just keep on going right over the top. If you ask me, skid plates are meant to be used. We've hit some things with some significant speed. Sounds like maybe you're ripping out the bottom of the car. You get out and you look underneath the car and you can just see dirt on the skid plate. And that's it, the car's fine. Your ground clearance is key in order to traverse over the train. And that allows the vehicle to climb over all of the rocks and the maneuvers without providing damage to the vehicle. What I really love about the Compass and its capabilities is you can take it off-road, you know you're going to be safe, you can take your family anywhere in the vehicle and go places nobody else gets to go.